Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And kung bago ka pa lang dito, my name is Sen. I do sewing and pattern making tutorial. So for today's video, isa sa mga request ng ating subscriber is on how to attach the invisible zipper so wedding dress with lining or any kind of dress with lining. So let's get started. This is the dress. So meron siyang lining. It's a wedding dress. Then, yung zipper natin is 20 inches ng haba. So, YKK siya. So, first, ang una kong ginagawa is to press the yung, yung part na yan, the groove, para mag-open siya. And, madali siyang tahiin later. Next natin gagawin is to turn inside out. So, balik na rin natin yung dress na may lining. So, ayan siya. Yung lining natin is yung may boning. So, i-match lang natin yung neckline seam and then yung waist seam. Kailangan natin siyang itin para hindi mo wala sa position. After pinning, i-mamark ko yung center back allowance which is 2 inches or for some it's 1.5 inches next step is to close the cd seam or the zipper placement temporarily so using a wider stitch so kaya naka set up siya ng number 4 yung stitch dial natin so para mas madali siya tanggalin later and this is how it looks This is the position ng ating invisible zipper, right side facing the CBC. The next thing to do is to edge stitch yung zipper tape na yan sa both sides. So, halos 2 inches or 1 fourth inch from the edge of the zipper tape. Pin in place, then sew it down. Apply the same procedures sa kabilang zipper tape. So, close the zipper first. And then, saka natin siya tahiin, which is 1 fourth inch away from the edge of the zipper. Don't forget to backstitch the lock. After the edge stitch, turn the dress inside out. This time, pwede na natin tanggalin yung temporary stitch natin. So, it is easier to seam rip if you use a wider na stitch. So, ayan. After that, pwede na natin siyang buksan ulit all the way down sa dulo ng ating zipper. We can now sew down the zipper tape using the invisible zipper foot. So this is my invisible zipper foot. Papalitan natin yung uh, the regular presser foot, the invisible zipper foot. This time we're going to sew down as close as possible sa zipper teeth ng ating zipper. So, ayan. Kaya kailangan natin i-plan siya para mas madali siyang tahiin para mag-open yung part ng zipper teeth na yan. 
and then backstitch natin to lock. So, same procedure din ang gagawin natin sa kabilang zipper tape. Nung una kong ginawa to, medyo mabusisi. So, although may iba pang style, and yung mga sanay na talaga, hindi na kailangan sinasara pa yung center back. But, for me, um, kahit medyo mabusisi ito, um, mas gusto ko siyang gamitin yung ganitong technique. Kasi mas malinis siyang tingnan. Next is, sara muna natin ulit yung zipper. And then, balik na rin natin ulit yung buong dress just to double check yung position ng ating zipper. So, if you're going to check the zipper, make sure that the waist seams on both sides are aligned. Pati yung sa taas, yung sa neckline, dapat pantay. Let's turn the dress inside out. This is how it should look like after attaching the invisible zipper. So yung nasa taas is the lining. And then flip the lining to the outer layer. So, and then top stitch natin siya. Since hindi mo nakikita yung invisible zipper, just fill the edge ng zipper teeth as your sewing guide. So, pwede mo tahiin just next to the zipper teeth or sa gitna ng zipper teeth. Apply the same procedure then sa kapilang zipper tape natin. Then finally, balik na rin natin ulit yung matting dress just to check. And this is our final look ng ating invisible zipper on a dress with lining. Let's make sure that the waist seams and the back neckline are matching. So, dapat naka-align lahat yan. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned something new from this video. And please like, subscribe, and share this video with all of your friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye!